Results of the primary's vote for the largest party in Israeli politics, the Likud, started coming in this morning. Some 58% of the party's 140,000 registered members went to the polls yesterday, and with over 65% of the votes counted, party chairman Benjamin Netanyahu will likely be pleased. Candidates considered loyal to the former prime minister, such as former Speaker of Parliament Yariv Levine and former Intelligence Minister Eli Cohen, top the list while other candidates that supported Netanyahu unconditionally during his recent legal troubles and failure to form a government also did well. But those who challenged Netanyahu's leadership over recent years did poorly. The final vote tally will come in later in the day. And joining us now is Aviv Bushinsky, former media advisor and chief of staff for Benjamin Netanyahu. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining. And uh, we still don't have the final results, but based on what we're seeing so far, um, what do you make of those results? Are there any surprises? And do you think the chairman of the party, Benjamin Netanyahu, will be uh, pleased with these results, considering that, as we mentioned, the people who are more loyal to him seem to have done much better? First of all, if one who would uh, follow the uh, interim elections, the primaries of the Likud, would not be surprised because it was clear from the beginning that this is a uh, test or a loyalty test uh, for Netanyahu. The ones who in line with Netanyahu and uh, showed uh, the uh, Likud members that they supported Netanyahu all in, all the way, including uh, uh, coming to his trial and being uh, photo there, pictured there, and showing uh, unequivocal support to Netanyahu. They are the one who have uh, the highest uh, numbers and are uh, being located in the top of the list. So, honestly, I'm not surprised. Uh, Netanyahu should be pleased. Yes, he should be pleased because some of his uh, potential rivals uh, were thrown to the back. And even Gilad Sharon, the son of uh, Ariel Sharon, uh, who Netanyahu didn't want him to uh, be elected to begin with, most likely will not be able to enter the Knesset. But I think that the, the, the more important lesson or, or the outcome of these interim elections is that for the first time, perhaps, uh, in the Likud is a very homogenic uh, uh, party. Unlike when we had David Levy and Ariel Sharon, uh, different camps, we had uh, Israel Katz or, uh, or Sylvan Shalom, or even the Feglin or the new Likud members, all try to uh, drag the Likud uh, to other directions. Here you have Netanyahu and nothing but Netanyahu. Right, and the question is if Netanyahu and nothing but Netanyahu will uh, help Likud uh, get over the hump and gain those extra one or two seats from the other bloc in order to form a government. What are the implications of this list for the general election and breaking the political stalemate that we're in here in Israel? So first of all, I don't think that uh, the ones who were elected, most of them are uh, known to the public. It's not that someone that came out of space and suddenly you don't know how to absorb him or how to, to, do, to uh, digest him. Uh, I don't think it will be, uh, create a big change. And don't forget that Netanyahu still has some sealed uh, places which he can appoint his dear, uh, beloved ones uh, to join the Likud. Uh, I think Netanyahu will enjoy a very united uh, uh, party. And the ones who tried or will try to criticize Netanyahu for the one who being uh, charged uh, for bribery and misconduct, uh, uh, has uh, partners like David Bitan that are going, going to be trialed and others were thrown away. So in some aspect, Netanyahu cleaned his party from the inside. And as I said, the one who supported him are uh, with him. And uh, it's a big, big message to the others who think that uh, by uh, not stepping aside or next to Netanyahu, uh, they'll gain anything. I can say that uh, even though number one and two, Yariv Levine and Eli Cohen, uh, were elected in the top of the list, it doesn't mean that they are the ones that in the future will succeed Netanyahu. I think that we have learned if Netanyahu will ever step down, of course. I think that what we have learned now is that the uh, people in the Likud party adhere to the one who most likely will bring the highest numbers of votes. That's why they are stepping next to Netanyahu. After the Netanyahu's era, 
they'll have to see who can deliver the most and he will be the one who will uh, lead the, the party. It has nothing to do with the location right. of the ones who were elected today. A lot of political uh, jockeying for position also within the parties, not just between the parties and between the blocs. Um, and the general election coming, we'll see the impact soon. Aviv Bushinsky, former right. media advisor and chief of staff uh, for Benjamin Netanyahu, former uh, advisor for Benjamin Netanyahu, thank you for coming on.